Chapter 9 of Dinosaurs Before Dark. The Amazing Ride. The Pteranodon coasted down to the ground. He stared at Jack with his bright, alert eyes. What was Jack supposed to do? Climb on? But I'm too heavy, thought Jack. Don't think, just do it. Jack looked at the Tyrannosaurus. He was starting up the hill. His giant teeth were flashing in the sunlight. Okay, don't think, just do it. Jack put his book in his pack, then he eased down onto the Pteranodon's back. He held on tightly. The creature moved forward. He spread out its wings and lifted off the ground. They teetered this way, then that. Jack nearly fell off. The Pteranodon steadied itself and then it rose into the sky. Jack looked down. The Tyrannosaurus was chomping the air and staring up at him. The Pteranodon glided away. He sailed over the hilltop. He circled over the valley, over all the nests filled with babies, over all the giant duck-billed dinosaurs. Then the Pteranodon soared out over the plain, over the Triceratops, who was grazing in the high grass. It was amazing. It was a miracle. Jack felt like a bird, as light as a feather. The wind was rushing through his hair and the air smelled sweet and fresh. He whooped, he laughed. Jack couldn't believe it. He was riding on the back of an ancient flying reptile. The Pteranodon sailed over a stream, over the ferns and bushes. Then he carried Jack down to the base of the oak tree. When they came to a stop, Jack slid off the creature's back and landed on the ground. Then the Pteranodon took off again and glided into the sky. Bye, Henry, whispered Jack. Are you okay? Annie shouted from the treehouse. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He kept staring at the Pteranodon. Jack, are you okay? Annie called. Jack looked up at Annie. He smiled. Thanks for saving my life, he said. That was really fun. Climb up, said Annie. Jack tried to stand, but his legs were wobbly. He felt a bit dizzy. Hurry, shouted Annie. He's coming. Jack looked around. The Tyrannosaurus was heading straight towards him. Jack bolted to the ladder. He grabbed the sides and he started up. Hurry, hurry, screamed Annie. Jack scrambled into the treehouse. He's coming towards the tree, Annie cried. Suddenly, something slammed against the oak tree. The treehouse shook like a leaf. Jack and Annie tumbled into the books. Make a wish, cried Annie. We need the book, the one with the picture of Frog Creek, said Jack. Where is it at? He pushed some books aside. He had to find the book about Pennsylvania. There it was. He grabbed it and tore through it, looking for the photograph of Frog Creek Woods. He found it. Jack pointed to the picture. I wish we could go home, he shouted. The wind began to moan softly at first. Hurry, Jack yelled. The wind picked up. It was whistling now. The tree house started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Jack closed his eyes. He held on tightly to Annie. And everything was still, absolutely still.